Today, I'm going to tell you how I built a multi six figure lash extension business in only four years as a university dropout and how you can do the same thing. Make sure you stay until the end of the video to hear my best money making tip in this lash industry. But first, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Like as a kid, I was always a very mediocre student. Changed my mind monthly about after high school plans. But the one thing I knew I liked doing was working and making money. A little bit of a backstory. My parents always made me work for what I wanted. Age 12, when I started babysitting, I had to buy my own shoes. Right after I turned 14, when it's legal to work in my province, I began working at American Eagle. I stayed at that job for about a year and I worked at a different retail job when I was 15. I actually ended up getting fired from that job after four months for being kind of awkward with customers. And I went home super sad that day and I started a meme page on Instagram and actually I was able to monetize that account pretty quickly and then I sold it when I hit 30,000 followers. This was my first big accomplishment career-wise. I never had any intentions of monetizing my meme page. I just kind of saw that I was able to do something and it just gave me a lot of confidence. At age 17, I was working 40 hours a week between two to three jobs. I was working a lot before graduating. I was already kind of used to working and having kind of that full-time income and I knew that I didn't really want to go back but everyone else was going to university so I did the same thing but right before four and a half years ago year one of lashing registering for my first one day course so I had to borrow $900 from my mom quit my minimum wage job the day before that course and I was like bye guys I'm about to be bullet I took my first paying client 30 minutes after the course ended she never returned the $900 I initially borrowed from my mom to take that course quickly turned into $1,200 with everyone wanting refunds because their lashes were falling off three months in i had to go back to my minimum wage job at this point i had dropped out of university i was just like i'm gonna try again next year i don't really know what's happening i'm relying on lash extensions for all my income i have no money i don't know why i'm in arts and science so i'm back at my minimum wage job but at this point i did start joining facebook groups and kind of researching online watching youtube videos on how i can improve my retention because this is why this income stream wasn't working out for me lash extensions everyone's lashes were falling off the next day I was starting to kind of give up and I applied for a random summer job in Banff working at a gift shop. Even though I was only working at the minimum wage job and doing lashes, I wasn't practicing outside of my paying clients. I thought it was a waste of product and I would be losing even more money. Four and a half years ago, you could get away with that. Not as many people did lash extensions, so you didn't really have as many people to choose from, as well as clients weren't as educated about lashes, um, so they would just kind of go to whoever they found on Kijiji. Okay, so now six months into lashing, I'm actually able to re-leave that same minimum wage job because I was gradually starting to get better and and some of my clients were returning. Six months into lashing, I had my first gross $5,000 a month and I was able to pay my mom back. I decided to go to Banff anyways because that was coming up that next month. I stayed there a couple months. I loved it there so much. But when I was there, I realized that my true love was my lash business back home. My biggest lesson from year one of lashing was you have to be the best at what you do or as close to that as possible. It will cost you unpaid hours of practicing on a mannequin or pumping out free sets but you will guaranteed lose more money on clients being unhappy with the service and not returning. I see a ton of new estheticians making this mistake. Your clients do not owe you bookings. You have to fulfill your end of the bargain and truly put in your best effort, even when a paying client isn't in your chair. You will only get a nice reoccurring income in the lash extension industry when you are truly providing value to the public and then in turn, they are willing to add your services into their own monthly expenses. Tip two from this year, research the course you take. I think it's a lot more common knowledge now than it was four and a half years ago. But the cheapest course could actually end up losing you more money in the long run. It definitely did, especially my first year. I had to go back to my minimum wage job because I wasn't equipped with the right knowledge to get clients returning. And I chose the cheapest course I could find. But you have to remember, all you have as an esthetician is your skill set. Going into year two. So I returned from Banff and am immediately as busy as when I left. But this time, I'm giving it my best effort. I invest in mentorship, new courses, charge more, and I'm now grossing between $8,000 a month to $9,000. From my mom's basement, I was saving all my money. At the end of year two, it hit. I was able to get my own apartment and do lashes from the other bedroom in that apartment. At this point, I was doing $10,000 a month as a solo esthetician working from home. And then a few months after I'm all settled in my new apartment, I start offering lash training. 
My biggest lesson from this year was that everyone feels imposter syndrome when they start training, but you have to get over any limiting beliefs you have. If you know that you can provide value to your students, jump in with both feet. Training opens a lot of doors and it's really great money. Okay, entering year three. This is when it gets exciting. I upgrade my flash business into a little office space, hire one of my students. I wanted to test out living in a different part of the country with the guy I was dating at the time without the lash extension business that I had built here so nicely, losing its clients. I was also lashing in this different part of the country that I was living in, but ultimately decided home was home and I came back here after two months. And then only a few months after coming back home, business was booming better than ever. And I got a 900 square foot storefront, just me. And I had one girl on hourly pay when I got here. And then after I was here and we had an overflowing clientele collectively, then I was able to take on a new member. My best lesson from this year was whenever you level up in your lash business, you are going to be a beginner at that level. Do as much research as you can and trust your gut. Going into year four. I ended up creating my own line of lashes and began distributing for local lash brands. I'm the only place on the whole east side of my city where you can come in and shop for lash supplies seven days a week. Halfway into year four, I hired front desk staff and trained them extensively on product knowledge to best assist our customers. I also hired an assistant to help with the more complex elements of my business. My biggest lesson from year four was that you need systems written down in your business if you actually want to scale and you need to delegate some of your work or at some point you're going to begin falling behind on the important things some of the things i recommend delegating is marketing and accounting going into year five so here we are i'm traveling to take training i drive my dream car and there's 10 people who work at my salon i have a ton in the works and i'm so excited for what's to come my biggest lesson from this year so far is failure is just feedback and numbers are just data when you have this many moving parts you need to double down on what's working and you need to let go of what's not for example, if you carry a new client retail product, you market it super well, really give it your best effort. And if clients aren't buying it, just accept that and double down on what is working for you and what is most profitable. Maybe double down on your lash trainings instead, because lash training is super profitable. And if your client likes you, maybe they'll refer their friends to also take your course and maybe even buy lash supplies from you if you sell them. If you enjoyed this video, I want you to watch how to make money lashing next, because I go a little bit deeper into what's worked for me and what hasn't. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.